Hello and welcome back to another Teacher Tip Tuesday. I'm Stephanie with Archangel Education and Technology, and this week I'm going to be sharing a resource with you that is simple, basic, and effective. As teachers and administrators, it is essential that we keep up-to-date, detailed documentation regarding each meeting that we have with either a support team, a parent, uh, a any kind of meeting uh, regarding particular students. And it is essential that we keep these notes uh, quickly accessible, that we can pick up and add to them uh, as ongoing meetings are, uh, are taking place. And so I wanted to share with you something that uh, the resource team at my first school uh, came up with many, many years ago. And we grew and developed this resource into something that I want to share with you and that you can take and uh, make a copy of and work to benefit your school um, for any particular purpose. So um, this is very simple. It's just a meeting minutes um, uh, note taking uh, resource that you can keep accessible in your Google Drive. And so what I would encourage you to do is to start by uh, inserting your school name. Um, perhaps you want to put in a logo here at the top. You can erase this. Um, and again, the resource that I'm going to give you is going to force you to make a copy. And so you can uh, edit it as you see fit. Um, and these are just meeting minutes. Um, and so in regards to this uh, space here, who is the student? who is the homeroom teacher, the date of the meeting, the grade, and then what type of meeting was it? And so a team meeting uh, in our case was uh, the fifth grade team. And so um, the, the teachers that we had came together and we had a team meeting. Uh, if the parents were involved in that team meeting, um, then it became a, a teacher parent meeting. And then if we became uh, joined by an administrator, the guidance counselor, the resource teacher, et cetera, et cetera, it became a, an educational support team meeting. And so what we did was we would have uh, the parent names and uh, the title, who they were uh, in regard to that particular student. At the end of the meeting, uh, in order to keep a hard copy, which was always very important as well, we would print these meeting minutes out, uh, sign it, and then make a copy that we would then provide to each person uh, that was present at the meeting, especially the parents. And so uh, these bulleted points became the recorded minutes of this particular meeting. And then what we did is we took the recorded meeting minutes and de developed um, action items or decisions that would be made uh, from what the points that were discussed. And then uh, whoever recorded this information would put their name and date here at the bottom. And this was really important and beneficial because this was something that I was able to keep um, in my Google Drive and I always used uh, initials. I never put a student's first and last name uh, on uh, the, the title of the document. I would always use uh, first initial, last initial uh, here. Um, and so that identifying documentation uh, was kept private. Um, I would re restrict uh, the users the, that were able to ex uh, access this document. And so you can see here, that when I pull this up um, right now, I have a copy that anyone with the link can um, view it, make a copy of it. Um, and then what I would do is I would um, limit this access to um, who could view it. And so you can always change the settings up here um, and make sure that that's a restricted view for only those people that had access to the documentation. Um, that way, if anybody ever tried to click on it, um, they wouldn't be able to access it unless they had particular uh, sharing uh, privileges. And so um, we would record the meeting minutes and then the actionable items. And this became a checklist that we could go back and look on uh, throughout the year. We could go back, we could add information to an ongoing meeting. Um, we could you know, go back and add documentation about uh, when those actionable items or decisions were completed. 
Um, usually I would add those in a different color, um, like red to indicate that they had been completed. Um, and then I would put my initials as well as the date that they were completed. And so if I had a particular goal with a student that I wanted to complete, uh, for example, um, if I had a student that struggled with executive functioning, I would uh, take this information and I might say that my actionable item as the classroom teacher would be to flip his or her desk around, turn it around so that the opening was facing towards the board. Um, that way they didn't have the opportunity to stick their hands into their desk um, and cut up little things while they were supposed to be paying attention or pull out um, you know, lots and lots of papers or even the opposite, shove all those papers into their desk. They could, um, they would have to actually um, work with the teacher to stand up, go around their desk, pull their items out and put them where they belong. And so uh, that was, you know, just one example of a strategy that might be used uh, in a classroom. And so um, I might go back once we've completed that and I've introduced it to the student, we've practiced and we're getting used to it. I would go back and add uh, my initials um, and the date on which I instructed the student and, um, you know, when that was completed, I might also go back and add notes about uh, how that's going. And again, I would always, um, once that was updated, because the file had already been shared with those particular people, including the parents, I would always just send an email to say, hey, everyone, I updated this document, go ahead and take a look, let me know if you have any questions. Um, this is a living document, it's a living, breathing document. And so it was ongoing and it was able to be uh, live updated. And so it was always good uh, for the families to be able to see what's going on in the classroom. And I, as the teacher, was able to communicate uh, and keep my administrator involved, uh, the guidance counselor, the resource teacher, uh, whomever, we were all able to stay on the same page. And so please feel free to use this document, make your own changes to it, make it a living, breathing document that will work for your school, uh, your classroom, your teachers, your students. And so I look forward to seeing you hopefully this evening at 5.30 on Instagram Live, where we're going to talk about classroom management techniques. So I look forward to seeing you then. Uh, please contact me if you have any questions. I'm always here to help. I hope you have a great week. See you tonight.